I'm gonna show you the easiest makeup that you can do from one customized palette from Saint Beauty. So I'm using one of their brushes, the 3D brush, and my customized palette to get this complete look. I am going to show you just one way to apply your 3D foundation. So these three tins are customized to my skin tone, and you can apply these in any order that you would like. I'm gonna show you just one easy way to apply your 3D foundation by starting off with my contour. So I'm gonna strategically apply four lines of this cream contour on my face. So this is part of my foundation and it's gonna give me coverage and dimension. So I applied two lines of contour on my cheekbone to give a lifted look. And the third line of contour is gonna be on my forehead, temple to temple. So you can see I'm applying it with my finger. You can also use a brush if you would like. I'm using my finger just to show you. It's almost like a paint by numbers effect with your makeup. The fourth line of contour is gonna be along my jawline, earlobe to earlobe. You're just gonna follow your jawline all the way through. And by applying contour down there, you are just going to give you yourself more of a chiseled jawline, which will hide double chin action you may have going on. So the whole point of contour is to emphasize natural shadowing. So four lines of contour, one and two on the cheekbone, three on the forehead, four along the jawline. Now I'm going to go into my main highlight. This is my base color. I'm going to just strategically apply that, start to fill in the gaps. You don't have to layer with this makeup. So you can see my main highlight is in the middle of my forehead, and now I'm gonna apply it where I want coverage on my face. So it's gonna be on my nose, both sides of my nose, and around my chin. So where you may have redness, or you want some coverage, that is where you're gonna apply your main highlight. It is also a cream. It's a little thinner of a cream than your contour. And so these creams are going to just blend perfectly. And the coolest thing about them is that you might apply them and you can see it doesn't look like it matches my skin tone, but there's color science, it will blend perfectly. So I don't layer my makeup, I apply it strategically so I use less product. The final color of my 3D foundation is my accent highlight. It's basically replacing concealer. It's a lighter shade of your cream highlight. So I'm gonna apply that underneath my eye, watch. I apply it inner corner and outer corner. I don't apply too much accent highlight under there. I wanna brighten underneath my eyes, but I don't wanna apply too much product down there because that is the thinnest part of your skin and you don't wanna emphasize any wrinkles you may already have. I also like to pop on my accent highlight in the T-zone between my eyebrows and down the bridge of my nose, upper lip and chin for a pop of brightness. And then you can apply it underneath your contour and your cheekbone just to make that more defined as well as make sure your face and your neck match up. So that is my 3D foundation. At this point, you could blend it. I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna show you how cool this is. You can also apply your blush at this point. This is a lip and cheek. This is the shade Frenchie. I've popped Frenchie on the high points of my cheekbone. I love blush. It does give you a beautiful finished look to your makeup. And now, where the magic happens, we're gonna blend this all out. So I'm gonna blend this out with the 3D brush. You can blend your makeup out with any of our brushes from Saint. They are specifically made to apply and blend these creams like a dream. So I've taken the bunny end tail of the 3D brush. This is probably the most popular brush we have because it's so universal and friendly and easy to use in the beginning. I'm stippling my main and accent highlight first with the 3D brush. I'm not swiping. You don't have to work too hard with these creams. They blend gorgeous. And then I'm gonna switch ends of that double end brush to the smaller end to focus on the more petite areas of my face. So what I love about these creams, they blend really, really well and they don't move around. You can just see, I don't have to take my brush and wipe it off. It's blending it perfectly. So you can also see after I've applied or blended out that highlight, I'm going to move on to the contour blending. When you're blending your contour, you want to make sure you blend that contour line in your forehead up into your hairline. And then when you blend your contour on your cheekbones, you want to make sure that you blend it upwards. So I want to blend upwards because the whole point of this look with the makeup is to give yourself a more lifted look so that your face looks thinner. When you blend that contour along your jawline, you want to blend it really well so you don't have a harsh line. And you're just going to make sure you blend 
the contour on your jawline down into your neck. So blending is key. You gotta trust the process, but I promise you once it's blended out, it will look like a second layer skin. Don't skip this important step though. This is my perfector sponge. I got it wet, squeezed excess water out, and I continue to blend it and pick any excess makeup off with that sponge. And then I'm gonna set my makeup with our setting spray just so I can lock in my makeup so it lasts all day long and is flawless. A couple optional things you can do on top of your 3D foundation and blush is to add bronzer just to warm your skin up a little bit. I use bronzer year round. I'm using one of our lightest shades of bronzer. This is called Tan Lines. And I just applied tan lines on the high point of my face, uh, on top, above my cheekbones, and then the middle of my forehead. And then I'm gonna throw just a little bit more blush on because it's a cream, it's buildable, and then throw some of that color on my lips because it is a lip and cheek. I did use some eyeshadows from Saint. They are my favorite. Follow one of my um, YouTube page or my Instagram page. I'm always showing you how to do eye makeup on there but I love that our eyeshadow is customizable and right there in my compact. And then I'll finish off with one of our illuminators just to highlight my cheekbones. And that is it. My makeup came from one compact in a matter of minutes with one brush from Saint. All you have to do to get started and get your color recommendation for your 3D foundation and a few suggestions for eyeshadows, blush, and all that jazz is to get color matched by me and then I'll help you build a compact and we'll get you started.